hi guys this is arvin welcome back so in this video i am going through how to generate access token in power bi to access any web api as a data source let me get into that so first before getting to that we will go through the scenario where we need to generate access token so as you know like uh, power bi is a tool reporting tool where we can connect with different kinds of data source like sql uh, cube or excel or any web api uh, and we can fetch the data and we can represent it through the tool right so let's assume like there there is a scenario where we need to connect with the web api to get the data so in that case how we can access the web api because web api all i mean all the web apis are secured secure web api right we cannot directly it's not a open ended so we need to provide the access token some kind of authentication will be implica implemented uh, in the uh, web api side so let's assume like which is a web api which is uh, uh, i mean connect with azure ad for the uh, security so we need to access that api endpoint uh, from power bi power bi so in that case what we need to do so first we need to create or we need to generate the access token which is compatible with the web api or a rest endpoint so how do we generate it so in this scenario like user is trying to access the power bi report so once he is trying to access the power bi report it has to generate the access token which is connected to azure ad so it will send a request to the azure ad and it will get the access token and it will pass it as a bearer token in the header to the web api so that it can authenticate and authorize the user and get the data so in this case we are using the client credential flow let me see what is a client credential flow so generally accessing uh, any web hosted resources using identity application so night client credential flow is nothing but accessing web web hosted resources using identity of an application for each in azure active directory suppose if you want to authenticate any user against the uh, azure active directory each application should have its own identity uh, in the active directory so that is nothing but the uh, client id the type of grant is commonly used for server to server interaction that must run in the background or without immediate interaction with the user so basically when we need to uh, authenticate any web uh, web resource any resources without any user interaction then we can go through the client credential flow so before that we need to understand what type of permission we permissions we can give it to the identity of an application in the azure active directory so there are two types of uh, permission uh, available we can provide it in the azure active directory for an application identity that is delegated and application level so delegated means normally uh, with the user login it will get the access token it will get the, all the scope and it will try to authenticate the particular user so there is a user interaction will be re required in this case let's assume like uh, there is a batch process which is running uh, there is no user interaction will be there so in that case we need to go go with the second approach that is called uh, application level access so application level access we will give all the permission whatever it is required to access any resource to the particular identity of an application so that is nothing but client and client id and secret so if you want to go go for this uh, client credential flow you can visit to this site which is very very nicely described about the client credential flow in microsoft uh, documentation you can go through that you can understand uh, better way let me get into that power bi console so i have opened uh, one of the power bi uh, report here so let's assume like i want to uh, connect to one of the uh, azure web api i'm not showing like uh, which api i'm going to connect but i can go through the uh, the way how we can generate the access token so basically i'll just go to home here i'm going to click on transform data okay so there is i have created one get access token method in this get access token method what i have done here is so to connect with the azure active directory we have to use the base url uh, 
uh, https login.microsoftonline.com slash tenant id tenant is your tenant id which active directory you want to connect that is the tenant id slash oauth to slash token this is a general url where normally you can uh, see uh, whenever you try to log in to microsoft or uh, any website which is connected to azure active directory okay so next what i'm doing is here i am creating a payload data equal to json document i am creating the json document web contents url so this is the url i am passing over here headers in the headers i need to pass uh, certain uh, uh, values so one is accept type that is normally application.json because i am passing it as a json and content type content type is uh, form url encoded you have to pass the same one content type and also content to text binary so to I'm converting to binary uh, to this one so here we need to pass grant type as client credential flow this is the key where it can identify this okay we are trying to generate the token using the uh, client credential flow so we have need to pass the grant type equal to client credentials and client id client id of your application where, where we have registered uh, azure active directory and client secret and then uh, resource resource is nothing but your uh, app id uri you can pass it over here okay and once you pass all these values perfectly so you will be able to generate the access token i'm not going to generate access token but this is the same way we can generate uh, the access token for uh, any any uh, uh, azure active directory tenant okay so let me see let me show you uh, something in the portal itself okay so let's see here i have created i mean i am just uh, going through that uh, how the uh, application id and where we can get the secret and resource for that uh, uh, client credential flow okay so i have taken here one of the activity feed app that i have created in my tenant okay so let me go for the tenant as well if you want to see the tenant you can go to a uh, login to azure portal and you can go to azure active directory and you can see over here tenant information tenant id will be this one so you can pass this tenant id over here okay so this is the tenant id i am passing next uh, we need to get the app right so again go back to your active directory here and there is a app registration so this is the place where you will register uh, identity for your application so i am just uh, going through that one which is active now i'll try to create it but i'm not sure whether i can generate it for this particular app id but anyhow let me try okay so what i will do here is uh, we need to get the client id right so nothing but this is the client id application ID. you take a copy of this one and go back to your uh, power bay console and client id of your this one okay don't try with the same client id because i'm going to delete this uh, app registration and i need to get a secret i don't think so i can generate a secret because my account is disabled but let me try okay i'll generate a secret so you can go to certificate and secret and you can give some name demo recommended for three months i'll create it i'll create it add it here so okay sorry uh, i cannot generate the big uh, credential because uh, it is already expired my account got expired so uh, don't worry but uh, you can get the generated uh, token from here and paste it into the your power bay console and resource uri resource uri how do we get for any whatever the application you register so you have to give the uh, your application url so this is your application url this is my application url so but you will get it from here only so you go there and you can paste it there and you can done and you click on you can click on generate access token so that will generate the access token for you and you can pass that access token for any uh, web api i mean the required web api uh, as a bearer token and will be able to access the uh, resource that's all about this video uh, how to generate the access token uh, in power bi thank you thank you for watching this video